Tony the Soy Sass Assassin, welcome to another episode of Sega Review. Yes, and today we are doing the uh, not a review review. We're doing the CAO Amazon Basin Extra Añejo, and this one, you know, for some reason there was a little hype over that um, sometime early in the year last year, or uh, early between last year and early in the year, and. I don't I don't know why it was a big deal because I don't like Anyeho. No, no, I don't. I don't like Amazon Basin that much. So it wasn't it didn't pique my interest. And you know, eventually it's like, you know what? We did a regular one. Why don't we did we do the extra Anyeho one? Okay, so you know, Eric sent me an extra Anyeho because he have them. And I double checked, make sure this is extra Anyeho because the label is different. The only way to tell is the label. So let's uh, first take a really close look at this cigar and I will tell you what my gripe with this cigar is. CAO Amazon Basin Extra Añejo is a Toro 6x52. Wrapper is Ecuadorian Sumatra. Kind of weird. Why would you call that Ecuadorian but Sumatra? Binder is Nicaraguan and filler is Brazilian, Colombia, and Dominican Republic. MSRP is $14.99, box of 18. 5,000 boxes was created. Much of this information are the same as the original CAO Amazon Basin. As you can see, I took out another Amazon Basin on the side of this thing and compared to this Añejo. You can tell that the original CAO regular is actually darker and more ragged and look more aged than the Añejo one. I don't know why. The Añejo one looks lighter in color, almost yellow hued, and even the braid has like you no know, lighter color. Only thing that was different is that the the, the seller it came out of has a little bit color on it. And that was it. Like you really cannot tell. I thought I wasn't able gotta be able to tell which one was which one once I take them out of the seller, but the color is so distinct that I was able to tell. All right, let's get started. Okay, so like I say, the two cigars, this is the regular CL Basin. This is the extra Añejo. You see this? This is darker. This is darker than the extra Añejo. What? This, shouldn't this be aged more and darker and more and even? This is not even even. Look at this thing. Really? Again, this is extra Añejo. This is regular. Not the lighting, all right. It's not the lighting. I can switch them around. So, yeah. What What's the bad idea? What is the bad idea? I have a few of these sticks. I can take out any other stick that I have. It will still look the same. All right. So take out. Then take this one out too. Still darker. Yeah. This one I also have an uneven uh, braided, but still darker. Still darker. So I don't know why. Uh, since I take them out, I'm just gonna put them aside. That's the only extra Añejo I have. I don't need to put them in the cellar. All right, so. Ah. Today we're doing this cigar. I'm not looking forward to it, but we'll see. $14.99. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll give you that. This thing smells like a chocolate bar. Like, 
milk chocolate bar. No, no kidding at all. What the hell? It smells like a milk chocolate bar. Like Hershey's. Oh, yeah. What? It smells really good. Huh? Oh, yeah. It smells like Hershey chocolate bar. Okay. Hershey chocolate bar. All right, cold draw tastes like bits of sourness, bits of saltiness, damp, mustiness. Like pipe sewage. All right. <laughs> it smells good, but oh my God. All right. Uh Little bit of cedar What is that? Some sort of spice, hints of saltiness, little bit hints of licorice, but not very sweet, just the taste. So probably like star anise kind of thing. Little bit of floral note, just a little bit. Creaminess. Little bit of earthiness. All right, I'll smoke one third. I'll be right back. This thing is kind of confused me. Oh, no, it doesn't smell good. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell good. Oh, no, it's peppery if you smell it. <laughs> All right. One third. We'll be right back. All right. First third. If I had to describe it. It's a watered down. Water tasting. Chocolate. Cocoa. Little bit peppery, little bit creamy, crazy amount of smoke output. Cigar. In terms of flavor, not big deal. It smells way better in the beginning than how it tastes like. Yep. Amazon Basin tastes like Basin. All right, so it's not better than Amazon base. Oh, maybe a little bit better. No, not really. They're like the same. They're like, this feels like I made a lot of Amazon basin and I left it there because it didn't sell so well. And then since they sit there for quite a while, I released them as Añejos. That's what it feels like. Anyways, let's not be so pessimistic. Let's get into second third and see if it gets better. 
Strain's about a uh, medium. If not lighter. But there's still hope. Be right back. All right, second, third. No pepper anymore. Still water. A little bit of woodsiness, earthiness, chocolate, raisin, a little bit of creaminess. Very, very light taste. Very, very light taste. Uh, so some draws are not better than others, but I would say this still kind of like tastes kind of watered down. I don't know. Not very good cigar. Not very good cigar. So, faster. I'm going to finish it up. Hopefully smoke something better. <laughs> I don't think there's any more hope for this thing. Uh, yeah. Well, but it burns okay. Smoke up was good. Uh, just the flavor is not... Uh, maybe they, ex ex they expect too much. Something like, you know, you know, it's like if it's something that's been aged, anejo and everything should taste better. No, because technically if you age it, it should taste lighter. And it, it, if it does, that's the case. This, this thing is doing what it's supposed to do. Taste lighter. Oh. It doesn't taste really good. I mean, I'm being serious about this. And I'm drinking a mocha coffee to go with it to help it out, but it doesn't. <clears throat> it doesn't. Like, the coffee tastes way better. Be right back. All right. Last. Uh... It's very watered down. Everything is watered down. You know there's that... There's still that chocolate there, but watered down. You know, there's still that. I mean, all the creaminess is pretty much gone. There's this like a char wood taste and a water taste and a little bit of stale water taste. It's just, it doesn't taste good. It, the, the taste lingers in your lung, your tongue, not lung, your tongue, and 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 it almost feel like every time you should get that flavor away, you need to take another puff to get that flavor. So I don't even know how I'm gonna show you guys the band, but this is the band. <laughs> this is the band. So I know I figure I gotta show you the band. So that's the band. That's the band. Uh, it's crumbly. It doesn't do anything. You could smoke through this thing, but you know I didn't want to go through that effort. This cigar burns really, really quick. All right. I don't know why, but it burns quick compared to all the other cigars I smoked. This thing is short. Um, roughly. Being a Toro, it should have been like hour 45, but I think this thing lasted me roughly an hour, hour five in it. Yeah, it wasn't that good. I didn't enjoy it. I can honestly say that. I was looking for flavor. In the beginning, it was okay, and then it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, worse. So unfortunately, this guy isn't good. All right. Uh, I think you probably would enjoy the original... Uh, Amazon Basin a little bit more. I don't, I don't know what I say about that cigar anymore, but... Uh, I, I remember that cigar wasn't good either. But I do have that review. If you guys want to compare, you can go watch that review. In terms of price, I will set this somewhere uh, between $7 and $8. $7 and $8, that's what I feel like this is worth. I, I would say that a Neho part it doesn't mean anything at all. If not, make it worse. Did not taste better. Yeah, there's so many better cigar out there. There's so many better things out there. Go find those things. Go find those things. Do not. Do not go out of your way to find this cigar. Can you still smoke this and compare? Yeah, you should. I think you should. If you like the original CAO, it'll be interesting for you to compare it. Um, because I do find it interesting that, that they are. They call this extra Anejo, but I don't see anything extra about it. I think it's the same price. Well, I, I got chart wood. Ugh. So, yeah, for comparison's sake, it's not bad. To enjoy as a cigar, I don't know. Some people might like it. Some people might love it. Just not my palate. I, I didn't. I didn't enjoy. I would have loved it if this entire cigar tasted like how it smelled before I lit it up, because that smell it was good. It just smells like a Hershey chocolate bar. But this thing. After you smoke it, it's not there. It's not there. Not at all. So, I will skip it. But, you know, for comparison, and if you like that kind of flavor, go for it. 
you know, just the review is meant for a baseline or an opinion. Shouldn't judge the way whether or not you you like a cigar. If you like a cigar, you like it, right? So that'll be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and go pick up one for yourself. Try it. Hopefully, you get out on discount. So I'll see you guys next one. Bye guys.